God is good. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Praying for a Hurting World. The topic today is prayer. James chapter 5, I believe this verse 14, says this. Confess your faults one to another and pray for another one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. This is Father Michael's Ministries, and this is what we believe. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. And now, a biblical message from Father Michael. Hello, my people. Hello, my children. Hello, my parishioners. This is Father Michael of Father Michael's Ministries. I do um, uh, apologize for not podcasting in a bit of a while. It has been a little while now, unfortunately, but... And, well, as you can see, you just have things like technical difficulties in life and, you know, the devil trying to fight you on just about all fronts and, you know, and anything but to do with the ministry, just fighting hard. So I really need your prayer to start off, you know. That's what I'm going to be talking about, but I definitely need all of your prayers for me and my ministries and that's, that, that would, that, that would be very much, much, uh, appreciated. But um, uh, I wanted to talk about prayer today. I mean, there's many aspects of prayer, and there's many uh, bread, a very broad subject. But I was talking uh, more about that we got, we need to remember in our prayer life, you know, that you know when you know we're um, uh, confessing our sins to God, that that um. You know, we, we are, you know, doing that and, um, uh, and, and being able to do so, you know, try to, you know, ask for help to stay away from the sins you committed, you know, and do the, and, and but just to be able to say, you know, hey God, I did this, I did that, I'm sorry, I messed up, you know, you're, you're, I'm a Christian, your blood, you know, the, of your son Jesus Christ saved me, so I know I can do that. See, that with a Christian, that can happen. You know, you make a mistake, you sin, you're gonna, everyone's gonna sin, you know, for all the sin to come short of the glory of God, the Bible says. But, it, but the, everyone's gonna sin, it's, it's the flesh, it's, it's, that's what it is. That's when, you know, we got our Father God say, you know, sorry God, I did this, that, and other, and so forth and so on, you know, and all that. So, I mean, but, um, uh, also another aspect of prayer, prayer for the United States. I mean, we're prayer for the whole world, actually, but those who, you know, are in the United States, within the United States borders and our politics and all the silliness is going on in this day and age with all that. I mean, some, sometimes listening to some some of these um uh, type of uh, um uh, what's going on today and all these songs and stuff like that, 
they were saying that it's, it's like you didn't, you know, went back and, you know, to the old days and to, you're watching a, you're, you're watching a, 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 an actual um a, on TV you're actually watching you know the original kangaroo um uh, Captain Kangaroo or something like that I mean it's a bit fanciful I'll say you know but um uh, that's pretty much what it amounts to and I hate to say this too we really but uh, we even need to pray for our churches I mean normally people say well, well pray for the churches why do you think we need why should we have to pray for the churches for well, if they're watering down the word of God, you might want to pray to God and say, um, hey, you know, um, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe you could talk to that minister yourself and his own spirit and, you know, get him to get something, you know, a little more meatier to give to his, uh, you know, to the, to his, um, uh, well, whatever he would call them parishioners. And, um, uh, so it's, um, it's, it's, you know, in prayer, you know, of course, of the sick, you know, that's always the part, you know, you always, you pray for the sick and everything, that's the best, you know, um, and there are people out there that have healing ministries, I do believe, you know, God can heal, I, I believe it, does he always heal everything, no, he, he don't. And I don't know why. And I've asked other people in my lifetime. I've asked other ministers the same question. And they told me the same thing. They just don't know. But, I mean, I guess, you know. Well, there's, there's no guessing to it. I mean, though there is a reason, you know, why God doesn't heal every time, though. You know, and the reason, you know, behind that is, I mean, check. Okay, this is a scenario here. Let me let uh, let me let me just give you that. Now, I, I, or should I say, um, uh, it would be more of a parable in a way. That saying that um, uh, if uh, someone was fifty years old and they had terminal cancer and they were going to die for sure, chemo wasn't really going to help them anyways. You know, say so they're just going to flat die. Oh, but I laid my hands on them and they were healed of that cancer. So they live another twenty years. The cancer comes back. And then, and then, uh, then they said, oh, lay hands on me and everything, you know, get that cancer away from me. I lay hands on them, boom, cancer's gone. They live to be a 100 years old, and cancer comes back. Lay your hands on me, boom, okay, the cancer's gone. But you're at a 100 years old. Now, at around 40 to 50 years old in your lifetime, you would have to think just about how modern things are. From what the music was back when people that actually had music back in the 80s, I'd say, that um, considered this modern music sounds silly. And just every generation's done the same thing. You know, the generations before us, at our 80s music sounded, you know, just, you know, they didn't, it was just, they didn't like it. It didn't sound right. It was, it was, you know, especially, Anything rockish, you know, you know that I suppose was an Elvis or something that um they had said they all that just sounds like a bunch of um uh, trucks going down the heart of the highway or something like that. But uh, that was that was you know, that's just the way it's always been. But my point is, you know, you're gonna outlive, so you're starting to outlive these people, and, and I mean, and that means you're also with your healing. That means you're, you know, in perfect shape, but. How are you going to relate to the world? I mean, the way technology changes every time, every turn you think. I mean, you have a, a cell phone, and we, you fit, you know, you find out how to work it. You find you find out how it works, kinda, and uh, you know, you know what you want to do on it. But yet, it gets to the point where that thing just absolutely will give out on you. And then next thing you know, you've got to go get you another one at to where wherever you're. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, they're getting your um uh, 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 phone service at, and um uh, this is so it's it's just it's it's simply just put that you know um you know we we just need to pray for each other you know you know if you, people should pray for their family members whatever's wrong with them whether it's they're sick or they're gonna wind up dead or something like that you know that that's always something to pray about i mean there's many things to pray about but 
We need to keep praying. We need to come back and start being more of a praying nation. If this nation of the United States were to go back to the way it was back in the days of the 1950s, that when they had people, there were praying families back in those days. They had churches back in those days that prayed. They had churches back in those days that had dinner on the ground outside and everything after, after a big church, you know, get together and everything after, after church services. You know, now that may be a little country and it is actually. But, um, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. It's probably, I, I've done it before. It's pretty interesting. You know, but anything you got to do with a good Christian church, that's great. That's great. But, you know, just make sure the minister's really giving you the true word of God, the truth, not, you know, just kind of a watered down version of something just to where he can keep his, um, $80,000 a year and his, um, uh, Cadillac and his, uh, uh, Cartier suits and Gucci loafers and all that kind of, uh, of, uh, good, good st- stuff. Um, that would yeah, definitely, uh, but, um, the, um, the idea of the whole thing is to, um, I definitely, De- definitely, you know, we have to remember, you know, uh, you know, that, um, our Lord, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, when, um, the, the night before he was going to be um, crucified, um, you know, he prayed, you know, and he said, Father, okay, I'm going to stop right there. What did he say? He said, Father. Okay, is he talking to himself? No. Was Jesus schizophrenic? No. So, you know, he said, Father. He he started off with a prayer, Father. He's talking to his Father God. And people say that Jesus is God? No. Obviously not. And think about this. What is the model prayer? Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Okay, you know, so, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly it. The disciples asked Jesus how all we pray. Jesus told them, our Father who art in heaven and the rest of the prayer. But I'm, the point is I'm trying to make that Jesus said our Father. Our Father, meaning his Father who is in heaven. Holy is your name, you know, if you want to get more into English, uh, modern English, but it's, but, um, uh, but, um, uh, I was just going to say, you know, say something to you, you all know, pretty, you know, that I always do, and, um, uh, look, folks, I mean, there's really a hell out there, too. Now, I mean, I'm not talking about out there in the world, I'm talking about, you know, um, I'm a different location, actually. The Hadean world, as we speak now, is maybe Hades, but, but, um, uh, yes, and, um, uh, and, um, uh, so basically, you know, that's uh, what the, the situation is, is, you know, that our Lord Jesus Christ, he died on the cross, you know, a very cruel, cruel death on the cross for our sins, you know, mental and physical sins, more things than any of us will ever know and ever understand he bore. He bore that for us. And through that and through the atonement of his blood, we can reconnect with God. So if any of you out there can hear me right now and you are not a Christian, you are going to burn in hell forever and ever and ever. And if I was you, I really wouldn't want to do that. So, I mean, um, I, I would like to you just, you know, I ask you, you know, to, you know, would you like to become a Christian today? Would you like to inherit the kingdom of God when you die and be in a place of paradise for eternity rather than a place of torment in hell? I mean, it seems like, I, I mean, anybody that has their faculties, I'm pretty sure, would say heaven, the place of, you know, you know, eternal peace rather than eternal torment. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I have a, you know, just a small, I'm a, 
um, uh, prayer, but I made I made it myself. But it speaks volumes. It's very it's short. But um, uh, if you want to become a Christian, just pray this prayer with me, and you will become a Christian. Okay, um, uh, it say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of my sins in word, thought, and deed. In Jesus' most holy and precious name, amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, if that's the first time you ever prayed this prayer, you are a Christian. And now, welcome to the world of Christianity. Please find yourself a Bible-based church. And eventually, please get yourself baptized if you feel comfortable to do so. Within we still got the devil's virus going on, which is what they call the COVID-19, I call the devil's virus because it's from the pits of hell and it's from the devil himself and millions have died and went to hell over it, but uh, don't you get me started on that. So that's sorry, uh, that's a little preacher's habit there that even though I am a priest, that you know, when preaching, you know, it just it's, it naturally comes, but let me just say something to you and I hope you know that any of y'all were backslidden out there, you prayed that prayer. And if and and I wanted to ask any of you, you know, out there that have listened to me or you have been listening to me over the five years and like the four and a half of them, I was just totally blind, but I just kept the faith and it was eye surgery that got me my sight. It wasn't a miracle or nothing. I didn't go to some faith healer or some minister and have them pray for my eyes and everything to be, you know, to, I I was totally blind in both eyes from cataracts due to my bad diabetes. So yeah. So there you go. Hey, you know, I had the faith back then. I knew it. I'm like, okay, I will pre I'm blind, but I, I'm totally, I was blind as a bat, but I'm going to preach the word of God. And I did. And I realized back then, you know, my voice was a lot worse. I realized the sound quality was a lot worse because it was just my simple little cell phone. You know, and I didn't have my friend's nice phone like I'm using now. So, see, I'm, we've not been using cell phones the whole time to podcast. Because that's all I can afford. Me and my ministries, that's all, that's all, that's all we can afford. We have no money in our ministries. Now we are, at, we are registered with crowdfunding. And at the end of this, it, um, uh, it will be told more about how crowdfunding is and how we are using it right now and trying to get some funds, um, set up because I, you know, for one thing, I still have to get my 501c3, which, with through this, through um uh, the um uh, government and through you know all, to, to do all this legal work and a bunch of, and hiring someone to do it and all that and a bunch of other stuff and getting the tangible for tangible for going you know and everything and it's just not you know it's just been delayed 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 delay after delay after delay but I don't know it just must be it's not in God's timing but I would just like to say if you feel like it you know if you can. Um, please, you know, uh, check, uh, check where that, where our, our crowdfunding will be. And, um, if you can, please give us a free, um, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, a Christian love offering. And, um, um, we, we will, uh, try to do our best to, you know, use, you know, what money we're trying to use to further the kingdom of God. Let me tell you straight up that Satan, the devil, he does not want you to help con- contribute one cent American to, to, um, uh, um, uh, our ministry. I can tell you right now, he don't, but defy him and say, I will, I will too. I will help the word of God. I will, I will help the work of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, now I just want to just thank all of you, um, uh, out there in the, you know, in, in the world where you are listening to me, you know, wherever you may be, you know, wherever your domicile may be, where it's a house or a trailer house, apartment, condo, just wherever you hang your hat at, you know, and eat you some supper, even if it's a bologna sandwich. Better with a bologna sandwich in a roof over your head than have a, car, a cardboard bar, bar, excuse me, a cardboard box over your head and a, and a, um, a syringe in your, in your arm. <laughs> Definitely.
and please download. Please show me. Show me you like what I. You you listen to me. I need to hear from my listeners. I haven't heard from my listeners in quite a while. You haven't rated me. Please say you know. Say tell me you like it. Whatever. Tell me if you don't like it. And you know there I can give you a website. It will be uh, said at the end of this uh, podcast. Also, if you wish to get in contact with me for something or other, I would try to answer that if possible. So um, I just wanted to just uh, you know also just to tell all and each and every one of you that I love you. I mean, I just wanted to say, Father Michael loves his people. He loves his parishioners. You know, I just, you know, if anybody didn't say I love you today, Father Michael did. He said he loved you. Whoever you are out there listening to me, I love you. In the most best Christian fatherly way that I possibly could. So with that, I am going to have to close out my podcast here. And I'm just going to give you all a blessing, and I do this this in the sign in the air too, and I say in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We hope you enjoyed listening to Praying for a Hurting World with Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministries. Please note that the ministry is seeking uh, funds through crowdfunding on uh, through James Hendrick Empowerment on GoFundMe. Uh, please find us there and send whatever love offering you can. It'd be a greatly appreciated. You can also check us out at u4jc.wordpress.com. Take care. This is Father Michael's Ministry saying until next time, take care and God bless you.